Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be checking out an exciting digital to analog converter. Now I have already covered plenty of art war ducks around here, but I believe this one has a few tricks under its sleeve, which I'll mention in a second. This is the flagship unit of Musician Audio, which is called Taurus, going for 3,800 US dollars. So yes, this is quite an expensive unit. However, I might have a small surprise for those interested in this one, so please keep going. If this one is way out of your league, then you can check out my Musician Draco review, uh, which is the smallest brother of the Taurus while maintaining a very similar tonality. Design-wise, this is one of the bigger units that I have tested around here, very much in line with that Rockna Wave Dream signature, uh, with the Deno Frips Terminator Plus, uh, with the Audio GD R7. Everything is just over the top, massive and really, really big and heavyweight. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. This one is just a DAC-only unit. We don't have preamp uh, functions, we don't have a remote control, we don't have uh, flashy displays, touch controls, beautiful UIs. This is just a DAC and nothing else. We have a fully CNC machined aluminum case, obviously. Uh, everything is built like a tank and it feels like one when trying to rearrange it on the table with its uh, 12 kilo body weight. Their previous flagship DAC, Aquarius, was also quite big, but this one just trumps it. It's much bigger, uh, but it looks very much the same, so the family resembles is uh, very powerful in this one. As for controls, from left to right we have the input selectors, phase, on-off, non-oversampling slash oversampling button, mute and mode button. On its back, all possible digital inputs are present, starting with USB, coaxial, optical, AAC to I2S inputs via HDMI and two BNC clock outputs, just in case a Musician Phoenix DDC will hop on your shopping list. On the analog side, we have the usual RCA and XLR outputs that are providing a fixed voltage output. As for tech inside it, in an art war ladder DAC, the signal is being converted from digital to analog by the help of uh, tens or even hundreds of resistors that converge into two or four ladders. Uh, this one has four ladders, meaning that we are dealing with a fully balanced unit. Also, the higher precision of those resistors, meaning that more resolution can be squeezed from that ladder. Uh, of course, Musician Audio is acquiring thousands of resistors, but those that achieve a precision of 0.005% and going into their Taurus and Aquarius and everything else goes into their Pegasus and uh, Draco Art War DAX. The number of resistors doubled on the Taurus versus Aquarius. Also, it has additional control chips per ladder that Aquarius didn't have. And also it has an additional FPGA per two ladders, which again, uh, Aquarius didn't have. So in terms of uh, Artois, Ladder, Tech, this one is considerably more complex than anything they've done so far. The second most important part of a DAC are the clocks that are being used, crucial for the timing of the unit. This one is equipped with two 80 cut crystal oscillators for multiples of 44.1 and 48 kHz sample rates. These clocks are quite expensive and these are specially tailored for high-end audio applications. Last but not least, we are dealing with a state-of-the-art power supply implementation that occupies about one-third, maybe a little bit more, of internal space. A massive AC filter is preconditioning the AC voltage, which is then converted into DC by a massive uh, 250 watts single crystal copper or core transformer that is sitting on a daughter board. Do note that this transformer is by around four times more powerful than that of the Aquarius and filter capacitance also went up considerably. It's on average twice as big than that of the Aquarius. The input and output stages I made mostly from discrete components, so in the end this is quite a complex unit, certainly on a much higher level compared to any of their previous art war ducks. Okay folks, this is pretty much it and I think that I'm ready to hit some eardrums. Sound-wise, if you never tried an art war ladder duck before and everything that you experienced so far are uh, uh, cheap based Delta Sigma ducks, oversampling ducks, then coming from those to Taurus almost feels like uh, the music is twice as heavy, twice as organic, the voices are twice as guttural sounding 
and you are closer, two times closer to a live performance. And I wish this would be an over-exaggeration from my part, but uh, there is none. Of course, Taurus is not your ordinary art war duck, but uh, a flagship duck that is coming from Musician Audio. So everything that is uh, characterizing an art war duck is uh, considerably more powerful in this one. So this one was overflowing with naturalness, with sweetness from the first seconds after I pressed play. Uh, but above all and everything, this one is a very big holographic and 3D sounding duck. Something that not a lot of units can be described nowadays. Going through my usual blues collection, I felt that the sound was slowly pouring down on me and naturalness was actually overpowering any other feelings that I had at that point. And I felt that somebody magically swapped the towers with a really good turntable that was playing a first press vinyl. The performance grew in all dimensions on all axes Everything that has to do with soundstage depth, not separation, was definitely a little stronger on this one, even compared to my statement ducks, which are considerably more expensive than this one. The Rockner Wave Dream Signature and Core Dave were slightly more technical sounding, more resolving and faster sounding as well, but uh, I cannot deny that this one was bigger sounding, this one was more holographic, it was slightly laid back, but uh, definitely bigger sounding on all axes. And if soundstage is something that uh, you really search in your system, then uh, Tauros will be doing that uh, very naturally and very easily. And wait until you experience how this one performs in a headphone setup with a pair of open bear headphones that are usually not so impressive in the soundstage and depth department, like the Hyphen Varo, for example. Uh, those never sounded as big like HE-1000SE or like the Mesi Elite, but on the Tauros they sound really big and really holographic. I'm not ready to give up on my Wave Dream Signature, which is still the most punchy and dynamic uh, sounding duck that I have tried, and also on the Core Dave, which is still the most resolving sounding duck. Uh, but this one definitely uh, changed my mind, changed my stance on art while other ducks. It's a truly special sounding piece of equipment and I cannot wait to see what else Musician Audio has in store for the future. I'm trying to find the strongest skill that a DAC has to offer. For example, for uh, Musician Aquarius, it's a slightly smaller brother that was resolution and transparency that impressed me the most. Uh, with Gustard R26, it was definitely dynamics and uh, transit response that were pushing and pulling my eardrums like crazy. Uh, but on the Taurus, it's definitely the sound stage that impressed me the most. Uh, it's definitely its most uh, impressive skill uh, as slowly it started drawing a big picture, you know, a colorful picture in front of me. This track started playing and I've heard immediately, you know, a big sound stage. And it was not just generous in size, it was massive in every meaning of the word. The acoustic guitar and the flute started playing tricks on me, jumping from left to right, from front to back, and then to higher altitudes. It had a kind of layering that made me easier focus on each instrument individually. It didn't rush things like Core Dave is sometimes doing. This one was definitely slower sounding, so I had more time to appreciate every note. And I do believe with such music, uh, it works in its favor because I simply had more time to appreciate all those music. I find this one slightly more technical compared to the Aquarius. It's considerably more technical, more resolving uh, sounding compared to their Pegasus and Draco. But when it comes to soundstage, uh, depth, note separation, layering, uh, this one plays in a league of its own. So for me personally, it's definitely a 10 out of 10 in terms of uh, sound stage and stereo image. To tell you the truth, the natural timber that a duck should have is probably the most important skill of a duck. For example, a uh, viola should never sound like a violin and a saxophone should never sound like a saxophone. That is for sure. Uh, sadly, I'm not a musician and uh, I cannot rely on all those live performances that I went through the years, but I have a very different measure for such things. For example, when something sounds really good to me, organic, natural, uh, fun, then I will always reach out and you know increase the volume higher and higher. And when the evening comes, I'm wondering 
hey, why my ears are ringing, but I forgot that I was raising that volume higher and higher. But it's so much fun, I simply cannot resist to go you know, louder, and that happened with uh, Taurus so many times that I simply lost count. Uh, brightness, listening fatigue, harshness are words that will never linger in the same sentence with uh, Musician Taurus because it doesn't have any of that. You can listen to the most uh, gruesome, you know, grotesque music, aggressive music, and it will still sound natural, easygoing, uh, very smooth in a way at the same time. But there is something else that compels me to add more music to my playlist, to listen to more music, and those are dynamics. When you hear that slap of the fretboard, you should be scared. And also when you uh, feel those uh, snare drum hits hitting your chest, you should be scared. And also when the voices are coming from every corner of your room, you should be scared. And those are dynamics, you start appreciating them, you start craving for more of that, for more dopamine, for more food for your soul. The problem is with art war ducks, um, uh, everything that's inside them is working against them in terms of fast transit response and dynamics because we have a very long signal path. Usually a short signal path equals a fast transit response, but right here we have a very long signal path. Hundreds of resistors, uh, complicated FPGAs, input-output stages, a very massive unit with hundreds of components. Uh, but still, this one is not slow. It's a little slower compared to a core Dave, to a Rockna Wave Dem signature, but it's definitely not slower to say a Gustar DAC, a topping SMSL DAC is definitely at least on the same level, if not really faster. Taurus, as its name suggests, sometimes feels like a raging bull in terms of dynamics, especially after about 20-30 minutes of warm-up. Uh, the bass and just dynamics in general are definitely more impressive in here compared to Aquarius, Pegasus and Draco. It's a very different beast in this department. In terms of resolution and transparency, here's a short history lesson. Chip-based converters like AKM, ESS Saber, Sirius Logic, so on and so forth, uh, were made to cut the costs of the founding fathers of the r 2 ducks while maintaining the same resolution and transparency. But did they achieve that? Partially, yes, they are cheaper, that is for sure. For US dollars you can have a pretty decent sounding uh, chip-based converter, sadly you won't find an r 2 duck at that price. But in terms of resolution and transparency, I don't think they can, you know, stand a chance versus these units. Uh, once I've heard that Core Dave and also the Rockna Wave Dame signature, I realized that uh, chip-based converters will need to work much harder to achieve the same level of uh, resolution and transparency, especially sound transparency, that see-through, you know, zoom in, zoom out transparency that is working so easily on art war ducks and not so impressive on uh, chip based converters. Uh, this one has a much more impressive component selection to say Aquarius and I was very impressed uh, by the Aquarius in terms of transparency and resolution but this is more so, this is considerably clearer sounding and you don't need an hour or you know a few minutes to adjust that the sound is clearer, more transparent, just mere seconds you start realizing that the sound is simply uh, breathing much easier, there is more resolution, there is more things happening on the micro scale with this one, especially if you have a really good setup, you can hear that just in mere seconds. Sadly, impressive detail retrieval in art war ducks is synonymous with expensive, and while this one is a costly unit, uh, it's not super costly when comparing with its uh, close competitors. 3,800 US dollars, uh, it's a lot, uh, for some, maybe it's peanuts money, but I honestly believe that they priced it a little lower given the performance that I'm getting in return. Moving on to frequency response, Taurus adds a touch of oomph and presence to the wall frequency region, not only to the bass, uh, that is for sure, but the bass is definitely a little bit punchier and more defined uh, sounding compared to say Aquarius and Pegasus. This one is definitely has the fun factor that Aquarius didn't have so strong, so this one has a much stronger character in this regard. Also, I have observed that the bass went from unrefined and muddy to clean and refined in about 7 days, 10 days of uh, burning. Uh, the component count is definitely much higher in this one, it has kilos of audiophile goodness, so you'll need to wait for a few days until it will start blossoming. Uh, the bass went from unrefined to refined and slow to punchy and dynamic. 
So uh, clearly it does proper justice not only to blues and jazz but also to electronic music. Taurus always adds some uh, texture, some color, some meat on the bone versus Delta Sigma oversampling ducks. And I don't know why that is happening, but this one was never flat. Uh, this one was never linear, straight as a line in the frequency response. This one was elevating, especially the mid-range felt a little bit elevated and quite fun sounding. I tried quite a few folk rock and folk metal tunes and those always sounded quite uh, legendary and epic sounding. Uh, this one was adding a little bit of smoothness and sweetness into that. Uh, mid-range and I could listen to basically everything on this one. So I do believe it does proper justice to mid-range as well. Uh, probably the strongest skill? I feel so. Treble heads can rest easy this time around because Taurus is not rolling off parts of the upper treble like uh, Pegasus or Draco is doing. There is more shimmer, there is more uh, nuance and also zingy you know, information in that region that uh, Pegasus and Draco simply didn't have. Also, Aquarius was very impressive in the treble and overall in the detail retrieval and transparency department, but this one is more so. There is more information, especially in the upper treble. It has a more complex art while bladder and of course uh, much more powerful FPGAs, two of them versus one. So clearly it's more complex, but uh, you can feel that the resolution went up, especially in the treble. It doesn't have a very strong leaning edges, you know, sharp leaning edges. This one is softer, but that can work in its favor, especially if you listen to a lot of rock and metal. You can listen to that for all day long and that will be a problem. Honestly, this is one of the smoother sounding ducks that I have tried this year. Uh, this is simply an easy rider and if you are listening to plenty of aggressive music, just forget about brightness or listening fatigue. That will never happen with the Taurus. Wrapping up in my Musician Audio Aquarius review, I mentioned that I would describe it as sweet, warm, lean or bright sounding. While this one is also devoid of any brightness and listening fatigue, I can certainly say that this one is sweeter, warmer and thicker sounding compared to Aquarius. The art war character is simply <laughs> rocking the house with this one and the tonal richness is simply overflowing its circuit board. It's bigger, it's wider, it's deeper sounding and uh, resolution and dynamic range went up by a few notches as well. At the end of the day, Taurus formed a stronger bond with my tunes and this is the number one reason why I'm slightly behind my schedule with this review and the second reason why it deserves my highest gold award. Now, for a little bit of extra, I teamed up with their global distributor for a 10% discount for you guys. Just add it to your cart, use Sound News discount code and uh, you'll get a 10% off. That will be valid through December 7th. Okay guys, this is pretty much it. Don't forget to check out my written review. It's a much longer 14 page review. It's much more detailed. Hit that like and subscribe button. Be cheerful and I'll see you very soon.